Interacting with the media for the first time since his incarceration, former President Jacob Zuma didn't hold back. Your president has committed treason. Zuma says President Ramaphosa has committed a crime. He accuses President Ramaphosa of corruption and says this is inconsistent with his oath of office. No president should conduct private business while in office. It's not allowed. Our country's problems are too big for a president who is busy <coughs> hustling on the side. The former president also touched on the suspension of the public protector Busisio Mkwebane. He questioned why was Mkwebane suspended and alleged that it was a cover-up for the Palapala farm gate. To add insult to injury, the Western Cape High Court has found that the president went further and suspended the public protector for the sole purpose of covering up his pala pala corruption. And on to the Zondo Commission, Zuma has questioned the credibility of the inquiry. Zuma himself established the commission in January 2018. This after the High Court in Pretoria ordered that the public protector's remedial action was binding and that Zuma had to appoint a commission of inquiry within 30 days, headed by a judge selected solely by the then Chief Justice Mohoe Mohoeng. The commission, which had been unlawfully established, was itself being used by <clears throat> unelected leadership of the country to remove the true leaders of our liberation. He also accuses Zondo of being biased when he appeared before the State Capture Commission and maintains that he and the Chief Justice know each other. I'm saying Chief Justice is my friend, is my relative, is my comrade. And he maintains his arrest was unlawful. The highest court in the land violated the law. The former president completed his 15-month jail sentence two weeks ago. So why is all citizens enjoy this right? Jacob Zuma does not apply. Does this confirm a claim that in this country there are now Zuma laws? He also weighed in on the ANC's step-aside resolution. Zuma says the rule is unfair and inconsistent with the constitution of the country. It's not right. It is undermining the right of people to participate in the ANC in reality. It is, ad it is also against the constitution of the country. Meanwhile, the presidency was not available for comment. SABC News, Johannesburg. Meanwhile, former President Jacob Zuma also criticized the ongoing power cuts, saying under his watch he had dealt with the energy crisis in South Africa. We now live in a country where it is normal to have the power switched off two or three times a day. SAA is gone. ESCOM is in the shambles. And we accept this <clears throat> incompetency as a country. 